This is Dave Meltzer. Welcome to The Playbook. I am so excited because I have worked with this company. I probably would date myself if I told you how long, uh, but I have the unbelievable chief marketing officer with WebEx, Aruna Ravi Chandran. Welcome to The Playbook. Thank you for having me, David. Very, very excited to be here with you today. Well, you know, I wanted to have you because you have a superior technology that deals with some of the most key components in both personal and professional life, and that's collaborated, coordinated movement. Um, and there's so many mental, I call it the mindset, the heart set, and the handset about how we coordinate and collaborate together uh, in these movements, which creates uh, not only a practice of profitability, uh, but of happiness, uh, of wellness, uh, especially today with all the accelerated changes that have occurred through the pandemic. Uh, WebEx and Cisco are sitting in a really great situation to help bring us back together, but not only back together, but to coordinate and collaborate together in an efficient, effective, and statistically successful way. How does your platform and business affect this more healthy mindset of how we practice meeting and collaborating? It's, you asked a question which is very near to my heart, I have to say. So if, if I, I, let, basically, basically, let me basically reflect back, right? Before the pandemic, Video conferencing was used by the large corporations and not many people even knew what was a video conferencing platform. And if during the pandemic, this whole market was disrupted because none of us could have ever communicated if you didn't have a technology like WebEx. And it became more than video conferencing because you also need to have the chat communications going on as well, which is asynchronous uh, meetings. And so that's an area where WebEx has had tremendous amount of growth, uh, especially during the pandemic. So what do I mean by that? First and foremost, WebEx, which used to be just a video conferencing provider, we rebranded ourselves to be an all-in-one collaboration app. Meaning that if you want to basically meet someone on a video call, that's WebEx. If you want to chat with someone, you don't need to go to a WhatsApp or you don't need to go to Slack. Let's WebEx because the chat facility is automatically available within the WebEx store. And if you want to just do a business call instead of using your mobile phone, and you don't need to have two phones with you, let's WebEx because even the IP telephony is now integrated into the WebEx app. So it became your all-in-one collaboration device. But having said that, your question was, how does this impact your you know, mental health and employee well-being. I would say that's an area where we have really transformed uh, our business as well as the WebEx app. One is with the pandemic, we realized that we have to create an inclusive future for all. Because if you think about it, you know, people are, uh, the we have to basically break down the barriers across multiple different geographies, across locations, across social economic level. And with WebEx, we came up with specific functionality in order to actually break down that. So for example, I, uh, if, if we, I had joined this call on WebEx, I could have demonstrated to you that I could have clicked a button. I could be speaking in English. And you know, if you wanted to consume that in Polish or in um, Spanish or even in Ethiopian, you could have because we have the ability to automatically translate from English to 108 languages into right? So, so that everyone gets seen and everyone gets heard. Well, I didn't know this, but I'm gonna be have, I'm gonna have to switch over my platforms as I'm now updated. I knew that you had a collaborative environment and I was thinking in the coordination side of, as you said, a one-stop shop is so important today because how many times do we start a conversation maybe maybe just in audio, but then need to see things? And then after seeing something that we need to collaborate together as well, and then have other people join and collaborate. And some would be remote, some may be in our office, some may be in other countries in different languages, um, determinative upon how big and, and how far the reaching of the organization is. And you do provide services and solutions for all people from an individual entrepreneur all the way to the largest corporations, the multi-global uh, corporations and organizations in the world. Um, 
And the word that stands out to me is that people have a difficult time today because of the overwhelming amount of things we can do and amount of platforms to prioritize. And one of the aspects of WebEx, and the reason I'm giving you my commitment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over because that language uh, capability just literally uh, provided so much ROI to what I do. Um, I've been looking for something like that. I already knew all the other great things that you did, but it's the prioritization of wellness. Um, when we get to collaborate and coordinate together, right now, the biggest fear I have within my own organization and the ones that I work with is everybody feels alone, separate, creates anxiety, interference between the productivity and accessibility. I saw a Gallup poll that said that over 86% of employees don't feel engaged. Yep. And so I see WebEx as an engagement tool. What are some of those prioritizations that WebEx gives you to incorporate the engagement that's so necessary for productivity? 100%. So again, the all of these uh, various different functionality was actually purpose-built in order to address these kind of hard challenges, which you know our own employees were facing as well as our customers' employees were facing. So, um, the, we brought several different engagement techniques uh, within our product set. One is, I wish I could demonstrate that again is, you know, if you think about, you know, a video conferencing call, it, you get introverts, you get extroverts, you get all different kinds of people. And the extroverts are the ones who always have an opinion to share in a meeting or you know, during a chat or a call. Introverts tend to keep, the, keep their uh, opinions to themselves. Knowing that, we came up with something called reactions. I would love to demonstrate. It's not just, you know, we have multiple different reactions like a heart, uh, like a thumbs up and a thumbs down. And the beauty of our product is you don't even have to click the button. I could do a thumbs up. It will automatically recognize this is a thumbs up and it will put that reaction on the screen. All right. So again, to give a voice to both the introverts as well as extroverts are some of those reactions we bought. Like you can do a heart and it'll actually show a heart, uh, automatically recognize the heart. So that was one example. Another example, which I hold very near and dear to my heart is, during the pandemic, I realized that uh, I used to go into the office every single day. And as I continued to work from home, you know, there was, there was no blend. Uh, the, the, my work life actually blended into my personal life. So my meetings got longer and longer towards the day and it was like back to back meetings. And after a particular period of time, you feel the burn, right? Like, because you're not spending enough time to give yourself that break, which is much needed. And again, we learned that a lot of our employees as well as our customers' employees are seeing the same thing. So because of that, we actually created an integration with Thrive Reset. Have you heard of Thrive Reset? It's Ariana Huffington's company's app. That app is integrated into WebEx. So when I want to basically take a break after meetings, I, I've asked my uh, assistant to actually not schedule meetings back to back. And she gives me a five minute break between each meeting. And during that five minute break, I'll bring up the Thrive Reset app, which is right in my tool integrated into WebEx. And I'll basically, I like listening to uh, classical music and I listen to classical music, but you can customize the app to do meditation. You can customize the app where you can basically do a stretching exercise. And research has shown that five minute break has a tremendous amount of impact on mental health. And I can tell you, I am a consumer and that has been a saving grace for me. So that was another example. The third example, which I can tell you, which a lot of our employees are actually sharing with us is, there is before the pandemic, you know, the remote workers were really did not have an equal seat at the table. When you were in the office, you would have those water cooler conversations and you were treated as priority citizens, right? But now with the pandemic, everybody's embracing hybrid work. So, and there is a huge fear that people are going to be remote, working from home, they're going to feel left out. So knowing that, we heard that from multiple different CIOs as well as facilities leaders in companies. So what we did was we prioritized and bought a functionality market, which will look like this. So let's say, you know, you, we are right now on a, on a call on a video conferencing app. And let's say there were four people who have joined, three people have joined from home and there are 
three other people who are sitting in a conference room. What would you see? You would see four squares where everybody in that conference room will be shown up in one square. And then you would see three other squares for the various different people who have joined from home. What we did, you will not know whether somebody is working from home or whether they're working from a conference room. We automatically will recognize the face and everybody becomes an equal square. Wow. There's so many capabilities. So we equalized it. It's about breaking down the barriers. For us, at Cisco, it's our mission is to, and purpose is to power an inclusive future for all. And WebEx's purpose is one and the same. And with the amazing technology we have now, we have the ability to really break down the barriers across geographies, across languages, across location types, social economic levels, so on and so forth. And that makes it so enduring to work for a company like Cisco. And it's amazing too, because you're really known as the unified communicator. And in a world that continues, continually has more separation, more fear uh, between politics and government and religion and color and all, all the things that are occurring today, we need more things that enable us to connect. And like I said, I've been around uh, WebEx a long time and it's always been a great way to connect, uh, mostly for me to, to make money and help people. Um, but now it truly has with all the different aspects and, and values, it's a great unifier of literally our world with the languages and all these capabilities that I wasn't up to date on. Now you're the chief marketing officer. You're well-schooled at some of the greatest business schools in the world. And how do you communicate such a big message? Um, as a CMO, I think one of the greatest challenges that my CMOs have had with the larger corporations that I've worked with uh, in the past is you know, that messaging. We feel as if, how do we get, there's so many people we can provide, so many people we can unite. How do you prioritize that messaging? And what are some of the techniques that you're utilizing today to get this extraordinary value and the brand out to as many people as you can? I would say I am grateful and blessed in order to work for an organization um, uh, like WebEx here at Cisco, because the true holy nirvana for any CMO is when the product and the marketing message comes together, right? Like many a times you can actually come up with a core message or a core purpose and align to that particular message and purpose, but if there is no meat behind the woods, it'll just stay as a marketing message. So one of the true things which is really a highlight of my career is during the midst of the pandemic in June of last year, for the first time in WebEx's 25 year history, we rebranded WebEx. And if you think about the word rebrand, if you ask a CMO, it will potentially be coming up with an entire brand system, which we did with a brand new logo, with the color palette, iconography, photography, Sonic, we did all of that. And, you know, while that was amazing, the part which is even more amazing is that that rebrand really had legs, mainly because the whole premise of the rebrand was focused on one core principle that is about inclusivity. It is about being able to bring people together. If you now look at the new WebEx logo, right, it used to be a circle and it had gone through multiple different variations. Now it looks like two hands coming together like that. It's about collaboration. It's about blending of heart and minds. And that is much more needed right now, David, and more than anything else. And to me, as a CMO, what we do, we focus on our purpose. The design, the marketing message, everything is about inclusivity. And look at the product innovation. I did not bring that to market. Our business unit leaders like Jeetu Patel, as well as Javed Khan, who are the leaders for the collaboration business unit, they prioritized this whole inclusivity and brought that together. That's why I said, when there is a perfect marriage between products and marketing, that's when the whole thing will really light up. So it became so easy for me to really market and put a lot of um, intel behind coming up with that message, which is about inclusivity. And then the second thing we did was we brought that to market in a very cool and fun way. 
And I am a big believer that the best way to market is through the voice of your customer. It's instead of saying, you know, we are good at this and we are good at that. If you can activate it through the voice of your customer lens, you know, it gives tremendous amount of pull across the board. And so what we did is while we rebranded the entire WebEx with the whole brand system focused on our inclusivity as our underlying design principle, we also brought a brand to demand campaign to market focused on our favorite customer, which was McLaren. So McLaren used to run Microsoft Teams and they actually uh, you know, went through our entire portfolio and they also are very focused on building a very inclusive environment at McLaren. And so they replaced Microsoft Teams with WebEx and uh, we activated a brand to demand campaign with McLaren and we showed how the technology, especially for Formula One games, which is a very, very exclusive C-suite sport, how that can now become a much more of an inclusive sport because a lot more people have an opportunity to actually watch the Formula One games because it is clear, it, it's brought to you by WebEx on their slipstream technology. And we activated a brand campaign. I don't know whether you've seen it. If not, I'm happy to uh, send that to you where we show how their race car drivers are communicating with their fans using reactions how their uh, engineering architects are building the next generation car using WebEx, using real-time translation, how they're engaging with their own underlying employees as they basically design the race car using Slido, which is our you know, uh, polling tool. So th those were the use cases which we brought together in that McLaren ad, and that was activated across multiple different global markets across all media outlets, across broadcast television, across you know, connected TV, including Roku and Amazon and so on and so forth, across multiple different media articles. It became one of the biggest brand to demand campaigns which was ever activated from this point. We got tremendous amount of kudos for that. And I'll tell you the part which really I hold near and dear to my heart. Uh, I think it was during Mad Money Show. Uh, uh, you know, what is the name of the gentleman who runs a mad money? Jim Kramer. He was talking to Zoom about their earnings report. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he brought up the McLuhan ad and said, that WebEx marketing team is clicking and their uh, ads are pretty compelling. So that was a true testimonial to the work the teams actually did. Yeah, and the credibility that comes with McLaren uh, and the vetting process that they utilize is someone who built his career in sports and has worked in formula for years uh, is an extraordinary, not only branding mechanism, but it has also a, a credible tools to the success that you've inherently used at Cisco with your own employees as well. And I think is a testament to that collaboration and coordinated movement and success internally, why I'm so uh, intrigued and attracted now uh, to uh, re-examining uh, using this for my own podcast, uh, as well as the multiple shows on Apple and Bloomberg and other places, uh, is that the values that Cisco uh, utilizes internally and externally, gratitude, obviously, accountability, effective communication, obviously, at the forefront, but also empathy and leading with well-being, leading with your own employees in an empathetic, compassionate, capitalistic way is an extraordinary foundation to build an extraordinary unifying communication platform that you've been able to create and market with the biggest and the best, but also capable for the smallest and the rest. So I just wanna thank you so much. I look forward to a conversation, make sure I know as CMO, uh, I may not be the perfect person to talk directly, but make sure if someone reaches out to my team, because I think we are ready for a quick uh, change to a better platform. We appreciate you so much, Aruna, for all that you do. Congratulations on all your success today and future successes. 